What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing the green arrow. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw the top edge of the brow. Leaving a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out towards the side. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then out. And then we'll go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left, curve in and then bend that up. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left side, we're gonna step in, draw a half circle, coming down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that up on the inside. Let's move to the center of the head and draw on the nose. We're gonna line up at the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center. Now I'm gonna start on the left side, we're gonna curve the nose, coming down, and then up. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. Starting back over on the left, curve the mouth point up and then down. Go to the center, step down, draw a straight line going across for the lower lip. Let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside edge of the left eye, we're going to step out and draw a large half circle. Come down underneath the mouth and then we'll pull that back up on the right side. Let's leave a gap on either side and draw the front edge of the hood. On the left, we'll step up, curve this up in the middle, and then bend that back down on the right. And then from the side, we're just gonna curve this out and then down. Let's close off the bottom of the hood. Starting back on the left, I'm just gonna bring this down underneath the chin and we'll bend that back up on the right. Let's go back up and close off the side of the head. On the left, draw a straight line going up underneath the edge of the hood. Now we're gonna go back and draw the outside edge of the mask. Starting on the left side, curve the mask coming down in the middle, and then bend that back up. And it'll move to the center of the head just up above the nose, starting on the left, for the mask going up and then down. Now let's go back to the left side, curve the mask coming down underneath the eye, and I'll pull that out and up towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side, coming down and then up. Now we're going to tuck the mustache and beard underneath the nose and the mask. Let's start on the left side of the nose, curve out and then down towards the side. Line this up on the right, going out and then down towards the same height. And I'll pull the beard going out and up underneath the mask. Let's add the bottom edge of the ears. Starting from the left side of the head, curve the ear going out and then up. Let's go back to the center and draw the inside edge of the hood. Starting right in the middle, I'm just gonna curve this up and out underneath the head on the left and do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna work our way up towards the top of the head. Let's start on the left side. Start by going straight up, and then we'll just bend that in. Let's go to the right, going straight up, and then bending that in towards the same height. And then we'll round out the top of the head. Starting back on the left, curve this up in the middle, and then bring that cross and then back down on the right. Let's add a seam across the side. Start from this point, curve this in and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from the bottom, we're just gonna taper this up and then back out. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start on the left side, just underneath the head for the body going out and then down towards the hip, go over towards the right side, and then bring that down towards the same height. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, curve this down the middle, and then up. Now we're gonna add some detail to the body. Let's start with the zipper. Starting at the very top, we're gonna draw two lines. One on the left, coming all the way down. Go back up to the top, step over, draw the same thing on the right. 
and then halfway down the side of the body, and go down and in towards the side of the zipper. Line this up on the right. Now I'm going to step down and do that again, drawing that same angled line. Let's go back up to the top of the body, step in, just follow that same curve of the body, going down, in behind, continue along the bottom. And then we'll go back up to the top and draw two lines on either side. Now we're gonna continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's go to the center, step down and add a curve. From left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a small gap in the center, let's go over towards the left, curl the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Go back up to the top, step over, curve out and down towards the right heel. And now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and then bending that up towards the toes. And now let's round out the top of the foot. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve this up, and then bend the foot coming down, aiming towards the heel, we're gonna leave a gap on the inside. Now I'm gonna move back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. I'm gonna start from the left hip, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We're gonna take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel, and then from heel to toe. And then from the top of the foot, we're gonna step up and add a curve, coming down and then up. Line this up on the right. And then we'll add a strap across the top of each leg, starting back on the outside, come down and then in, and we'll step down and draw that twice. Let's add that seam on the side of the body. Starting from the hip, we're gonna angle down and in. And then we'll follow the same curve of the leg, going down, in behind the strap, and then down towards the boot. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, starting right here, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, and come down towards the same height. And then from the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with the bracket. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, curve the finger coming down and then up around that bracket, step down, curve down and up the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to go out, up, and just tuck that in underneath the head. Let's move back down and draw the top edge of the glove. From the wrist, we're going to step up, so we curve this up and then out. Line this up on the right. Now we want to place the shoulder pads on top of the arm. Let's start from the top of the body, step down, curve this down, and then up towards the outside. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. And we'll add some texture inside the shoulder pad. Starting on the outside, step up, follow that same curve, coming in, step up and draw that again. Let's add that strap across the top of the arm. Starting from the bottom of the shoulder, curve this in and then down. Step down and draw that twice. Let's go to the top of the arm on the inside, curve the sleeve going up and then out in behind the shoulders. Now we're gonna add that pack of arrows coming out from the left side. From the top of the arm, let's step up, angle down across the side, come down in behind the arm, and then we'll continue in between the arm and body. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the first arrow. 
From the top corner, step in, draw a straight angle line going up, step in, just draw that twice, close off the end with a straight line. And then from the top corners, angle up and out, come down along the side, and then pull that down and in. Let's add a couple more on the inside. Starting from the side of the head, come down and in, draw that again. I'm going to add one more line along the inside. And then we'll extend this up along the top. Start with two straight lines, close off the end, and they'll add that same tip. Going up and out, just come down in behind, pull that down on the inside, and that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of the green arrow. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.